respected justice virendra singh ji and professor dk agarwal ji professor rajni srivatsu ji and arvin sir and professor rakesh chandra and professor karna and the delegates of and also my dear students good afternoon to everybody first of all i am thankful to department of philosophy lucknow university in fact this is my first visit to this university and very particularly thankful to rajni ma'am and rakesh chandra ji very short time they invited me only maximum 3 4 4 5 days back they called me anyway i am very happy to be part of this i'll share some of it then is not my full page paper i will share some of my views i will speak on my lecture will be focused on rawls to ambedkar with reference to social justice and self respect as yeah, the title of the seminar is it is itself it is not only provocating and also timely and itself it speaks a lot what do you mean why the idea itself the the initiating such kind of debates in the institutions it makes the sense that people can feel it can identify it even though however you want to things make it complicated academically by using lot of rhetoric but the when come to the idea it is a very simple idea a noble idea and also very demanding idea you know everywhere in this world the most popular slogan of the world and ever time that is the we want justice you know it very well from the infant of the vice chancellor office to the international level the where issues were taken over and you know the different social communities the way fighting for the rights which are already recognized when they are deprived and apart from that one by virtue of human beings there certain rights it is denied it is not given it is not a part of articulated is a part of the right discourse that's why the struggles the the concept of the justice is got meaning from the struggles of the people it is not just happened even the ordinary simple things like like that getting the voting rights it is also a lot of struggles are involved sacrifice of the people also involved in this contest to talk about the con con the conceptualization of the justice very often in this country we know it very well the not only this country the other part of world we have seen the against the slavery against the apartheid against the racial segregation we have seen the the well developed nations the people who fought for the rights and also for the justice demand for the justice the women all over the world they are fighting for the rights as far as they want to have equality as far with men and also representation every aspect of life and politically and also both public and public and private realms and dalits of this country for a long time they don't have the rights they never feel as a not to be treated as a human as a person person is a central to recognize for the as a politically or to be considered as a for the as a man for the entity for the justice but even the people are not even recognized as a person and there you know the the contest the not only demanding for the struggles and also our political theories and also our kind of the policies also compelled to take the different note in relation to the justice and also one kind of the corrective measure or one kind of the whatever the way you try to talk about but anyway justice somewhere rather connected to the in other world you know today in a climate in the situations like that very particularly neo liberal context the ruthless exploitation of the resources are there i don't know forget about the undermining of the sovereignty of the countries one after other in this world and there is also how rights also taken over for long time we have seen for the struggle for the rights even whatever the rights we have so far is also there is not in a position to get the rights what it is there and all and even the people like that i don't want to speak much about the even the our the way the Uh, the written constitution all over the world is there in for that also people has to struggle to implement the rights my point is here is that 
in a different context, different conceptions of the justice are there. But however, not only we can see that one, there is some kind of this, the idea of the justice as it is articulated, it is also different ideological conclusions also there and all. Apart from the context where we try to look at, we can see the political theory, whole political philosophy is surround, uh, the very centered around the idea of the just society. Not only just society, good society. And not only good society, and as good society and just society, based on the idea of the rationalistic society or humanistic society or other way, democratic society. The concepts of democracy also differs from the, the difference of the way we try to look at the issues. But however, we can see that one, there is a, from the, we largely in the political streams, we can see the political streams the largely liberal to radical in between the conservative, this kind of traditions we used to see about this one, the mostly the idea of the justice, the idea of any kind of policies, the, the kind of worldviews are generated from this kind of situation and all. As you know, the justice is a central debate, if you look at academically, or also the, 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 the way institutional, the kind of knowledge system, compartmental knowledge system also. Justice seems to be, we have seen today here, not only philosophy, political science, many people are there. Not only political science, history, and also legal studies. It is a give the space for the many people, most of our philosophy department, we didn't see the such kind of the, the kind of the interrelatedness, interdisciplinariness. Here, the kind of topic, we have the, the kind of the interdisciplinariness, it is there and all. Yes, it seems it is a, the debate is central to the ethics, legal studies, and also political philosophy. And there is no, of course, there is no common agreement. There may be different starting points for this idea of justice also might be there and all. And let me see that one. It is, uh, as I told, somebody tried to talk about it, to preserve the customs and traditions, whatever the existing systems that hold maybe, or maybe mostly the conservative kind of notion of the justice, it is there to upholding as per our tradition, as per our value system, as per our customs. This level also it is mostly religious and also uncritical acceptance of the past, mostly in equal societies it is there, or the mostly the idea of the justice is confined to the, if not this world, it may be the other world and all, the kind of moksha centric and not talking about silencing about the, this world means they want to keep the existing inequality as it is and all. And if you look at the kind of the kind of value systems, it is the way justice it is centered around that one, the debates of the, the ideas around the justice, one can see this thing maximizing the welfare, where we can see mostly talking about the pleasure and also uh, mostly utilitarians that I talk about. And others, they try, to, they try to look at the respecting the freedom, the way demand of the freedom it is there, or the other societies, it is the, 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 the virtue theories, that is a, the justice as seen as a virtue from the Greek society, among other virtues of the, the courage, temperance, other this is also virtue. And this also, we also try to talk about the mostly, better than try to talk about the justice in terms of the virtue. And however, in a classical times to the modern times, of course, Aristotle is a difference. It is there, teaches that justice means giving people what they deserve. But in the modern thinkers, you know it very well, social contact thinkers, and after that, the, 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 the idea of the justice is, comes with a, such a very phenomenal way and with the generals. It is there from social contract theory, it got be consolidated from the vision of the Kant in between and this I talk about right over the good way, the utilitarian talks about the good, promoting the good, right is important. And in this context, he tried to talk about the, the, the way the, the, the just society and also how to understand just society, that is a where he try to uh, look at the kind of whole, uh, the kind of debate we try to talk about. Then the social contract means, they, for the, the starting point you try to talk about, when it, before you try to talk about the, the, the contemporary time, the society has moved ahead. And there he try to talk about how society is formed. Of course, you know it very well. The social contract is already came to the agreement, why you came together, and also what kind of society it is there. That means different kinds of the people, social groups, they came together, there's some kind of understanding it is there, even though they have the problems, 
and they try to come up with that kind of thing, some kind of mutual respect, mutual agreement, one kind of the mutual cooperation, even the conflicting ideas it is there and all. In this context, where we can see the raw theory of the justice can be seen. As you know, the first volume, first uh, the sentence of the, the uh, Rawls uh, book, it is a theory of the justice, he tried to talk about. Justice is the first, first virtue of the social institutions as two theories of system of thought. A theory, however elegant and economical, must be rejected or revised if it is untrue. Likewise, laws and institutions, no matter how efficient and well arranged, must be reformed or abolished if they are unjust. Truth and justice are uncompromising. We can't compromise on these values. And let us come to this thing. As I told, it is a, is a we, there were Rawls talk about the initially what kind of society it is there, what kind of agreement it is there and all. He tried to talk about and he tried to talk about initial level the way came together and which is, uh, this is it has to be regulated by the, the public conception of the justice. That means it is a society which everyone accepts and knows that the other accept the same principle of justice and also the basic social institutions generally satisfy and are generally known to satisfy this kind of principles and all. Then this is operates, the where it is operates, what is the compulsion way to talking about the, the, not only talking about the social institutions and also on how it is operates, then, the, then it, in the process of theoretization, he tried to say this thing, there is a fundamental problem, social problems are there in relation to the coordination, efficiency and also stability in this context where he tried to look at the how to, the practically how to one can look at, try to understand this, uh, the justice he tried to talk about. Then as I told it is also he tried to talk about the social institutions and also he tried to talk about the, the way social institutions in that context he tried to talk about the social justice. The primary subject of justice is the basic structure of the society, more or exactly the way in which major social institutions distribute fundamental rights and duties and determines the divisions of advantages from the social cooperation. There he tried to talk about the social arrangements, the social institutions, social institutions, the kind of the social institutions, the kind of economy, we will come later to that point. The justice he tried to talk about is a fairness aimed to describe the just arrangement of the major political and social institutions of a liberal society. That is the political constitutions, legal legal systems, the economy, the family, and so on. Rawls call these arrangements of these institutions of society as a basic structure. And also the there the major the, the, the uh, of there, there you know it very well. Deep rooted problems are there, and also there he they talk about the equal opportunity should be given for everybody, and. Uh, 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 not, that, not only that one, it is the least, adva the least advantage people has given more importance. Anyway, the most of the papers definitely will around that things will be there. Now then our point is that I'll try to move it further. When you try to talk about the very interesting point, you try to look at the self-respect. Not only talking about the whole liberal concept, not only talking about the reconciliation of the principle of liberty and equality and also he tried to talk about in terms of the distributiveness of the goods. One of the important social goods he tried to talk about apart from the other kind of economic and other political goods, he tried to also try to discuss about the human dignity and also self-respect and all. This point it is very much it is uh, very much I am very much is concerned and it is uh, the uh, there uh, the, what I would like to see this one and when I try to talk about the, the, this kind of things, as I told already, one kind of reflexive equilibrium, the way your commitment to others kind of understanding. And more than that, the human beings has to be much more reasonable citizens to be come together, acceptance, even though some laws will be there, one has to accept, to run over, to live, to live together. And for that, he argues that thing, there's a need to develop the kind of the public culture is very much is important and it has to be cultivated and in the process only light rights has a meaning and also it can be moved ahead like that he tried to talk about and the, the citizens engaged in certain kind of political activity have duty of civility to be able to justify their decisions on fundamental political issues by reference only to the public values and also public standards 
and also the public reason it is a requirement of reciprocity to apply directly to how citizens explain their political relation to one another. In essence, political, the public reason requires citizens to be able to justify their political decisions to one another using publicly available values and standards. That means already we come to the, some level of understanding and also it is established one kind of the tradition and standards already set it there and all. However, the liberal theory got liberal theory much more appropriated than by the largely Western society. If you look at Western value system, if you look at any kind of ethics books you have seen, it is only confined to the liberal system and all. Never, never try to look at in other level. There is a limitations of the liberal theories also there. The, and without looking at the kind of the political economy underlying the kind of rules and justice nobody talks about. Apart from that one, there is a serious kind of attack it is there in the recent times against the liberal theory. Of course, liberal theory itself is based on the weak foundation some people try to identify. And apart from this one, it is not only, the, it is mostly centered around the idea of individual. And the, of course, you're talking about equality, equality in much more abstract sense in ideal to be followed, but in reality, things are different. And in this context, we know one way communitarians and also identity politics and feminist and different level, there's a serious attack is there and all. Of course, the, everybody welcome the spirit of the liberal theory, but they try to find the problem. Uh, problems in the kind of uh, the way it is try to look at the, uh, uh, the, the way it is try to uh, understand and approach the problem, how it is masked the everyday problems and also the inequalities and also in other way it has one kind of dominance is also carrying and all. The primary attack of recent times you can see that one this communitarian attack on liberalism. The communitarian thinkers believe that the social conception of the human life gives rise to the distinctive sect of the concepts and values and leads to different version of the vision of the good society. And the, they believe that in order to do justice to the importance to the social relations philosophy must be formulated in such a such as a common good commitment to the particular others social practices rather than in terms of the traditional liberalism that way individualists are always embedded in the network of social relationship never the social isolates the liberalism assumes and that way they are critical about the community is critical about the liberalism on the, the its metaphysics of the individual centricness and ethics of the universalness and also politics of the right over the, the politics of right and the same time over the and right and neutrality and also state becoming neutral and let us protect the liberty and this kind of things also it is there and all. And there one fellow it is there is a Charles Mill, very particularly from the critical race theory. They try to say this thing, liberal theory is also one kind of the racial theory. And he tried to talk about it is uh, the, the, in which the uh, as historically been predominantly racial liberalism in which conceptions of a personhood and resulting schedules of rights, duties and government responsibilities have all been racialized. He said that one racialized liberalism, racial, racial liberalism or white liberalism is an actual liberalism that has been historically dominant since modernity, a liberal theory whose terms originally restricted full personhood to whites and relegated, uh, relegated non whites to be the inferior, to a non inferior category, to an inferior category, so that its schedule of rights and prescription of justice were all color coded and all. And apart from this one, there is a, some other people where the problems are in a different level, they try to address the problem from the, the Irish saying, from the structuralist point of view, the structural inequality she tried. There is a structural inequality. Of course, you try to talk about in terms of the culture and also uh, the um, societal uh, culture and also in terms of inequality. The structural inequalities are there in a society that is the gender, race and sexuality were not well perceived or combated by the dominant paradigm of equality and in the name of equality, the specific problems of the world are ignored that you know it very well, the how it is very much it is there and all. The, there is one kind of the, the blind, the ideal is blindness to certain kind of issues. That is the, that is the uh, way the people they try to rise about this kind of, this one. That means the equating equality with equal treatment ignores deep material differences in social position, division of labor, socialized capacities, normalizing standards and the base of living that continues to disadvantage members of historically excluded groups 
commitment to substantial equality does requires the requires attending to rather than ignoring such kind of difference that is a serious claim. Let me come to the Indian contest where I try to, as I told, I try to speak about the Ambedkar. Of course, you know it very well. We have to, we also taken carry it with the one way you have the colonial legacy, it is there. We are continuation in different level and we also come with some kind of cosmetic touch. And more than that, it is we also carried with some kind of uh, identified with the liberal democracy, it come with certain kind of modification. And the people like Ambedkar, Ambedkar means Ambedkar as a representative figure, which is which has tried to work out some kind of the political stream in this country, from the Pule, Periyar, and other kinds of the from, from Sremna tradition onwards to later the contemporary times. We can see significant thinkers it is there and all where Ambedkar. He tried to be, when trying to modern terms, he also knows this academic language, what you are talking today. And also, he, he is more than all, he tried to talk about the way he is articulated the liberal theory and also go, goes beyond liberal theory. And more than contra, the, the commentary thinkers today, what we are talking about that one, he is very much has that kind of constants when trying to talk about the moral community. When he tried to talk about negating the rights or not recognizing individual merit and individual personality, the way his importance of individual is I talk about. That's why one can look at the Ambedkar tried to provide the not only talking about just society and also new political philosophy which tried to be connected where the West failed to understand the problems and the way they, they now they feel they realize. That, that way Ambedkar can be seen, I would like to see as a the negotiating point or mediating point between the both liberalism and also communitarianism. Communitarian in the sense and also he is not the, the way it is today talking about identity politics. That, that way also he is also comes to that. Then come to Indian political philosophy. Is there a, is some of the people raise the questions also, is there Indian political philosophy which is there? Yes, we'll, yeah, definitely it will be there. And if it is there also in a recent time, not be theorized. The political philosophy in India, it is mostly political philosophy means one has to have the just society. Vision of the philosophy means just political talks about the vision, have the vision of the just society and good society. But you know it very well, the kind of the reality, the classical kind of the political philosophy, we never go beyond the, the kind of the Varnasram Dharma or Purusharda. And you may be justified here and there in different levels, different levels, something it is there and all. And it, one may try to talk about very much liberal, it is not fine birth, and also by it is one son guna and also some kind of the moral governance from the outside will be there or it, it requires to be justify our the idea of the justice one has to see the the such more powerful the ways uh, the, the god or it is a king king centric and god centric kind of thing where it is not the people centric kind of it is there is mostly otherworldly can cherish these values if not otherworldly in also in other janma one can have it and all but where the people like Ambedkar, they try to demand that one, the justice of this world and immediately the contemporary times. And that level, I believe, the very try to talk about the society where we are living. And you know it very well, there is also one kind of the eternal servility and also eternal degradation, degradation and deprived of the right to life, liberty and pursuit of happiness that India and also that makes us to be even to be uh, making as a nation is a problem is such kind of the, that's why the most of the debates right to come to the, that idea of Swaraj and some of the people try to rise not only Swaraj and also talking about the political freedom or social freedom is also equally important and not only Swaraj, Suraj is important, Peria try to talk about Suraj and most of these people have the serious kind of concern when talking about the justice there is a concern about this society, concern about the human beings, concern about the rights. Of course, people try to talk about we are the dharma centric, we are not the kind of, we are only talk about the rights, we are not talking about the rights, only duties. Duties means even though the whatever the way the constitution's right and also even the either British or the post period time, and it is only rights, what, even though we, have the, we want to be the, the very democratic society and also we want to look for the egalitarian society, then come to the society level, all these so values will get failed and all. The social adapt is a prominent. Social adapt is, is the kind of the caste, the kind of the patriarchy. It is also dictates. It is not allowed for these things. Even as a, as a virtue of citizens, we have the rights. It is, we won't get that kind of this one. You know, the kind of segregation 
and also humiliation is a self respect is denied self respect means by virtue by individual worth has to be recognized but it is undermined when he, the self respect is denied it is also one can see the shame and humiliation and also not only humiliation it is not only recognition segregation we can see isolation we can see and all the philosophy which justifies isolation can't be a philosophy at all and all but we are continuously saying that one it is the isolation we never try to answer that kind of question it it is there and all then very interestingly it you can see that one in a classical kind of notion of the philosophy or justice can be seen the philosophy become a legality legality become a social authority social authority means whatever you know it very well that's why ambedkar quote somewhere and all manuspruti is a book of law religion and ethics rolled into one it is ethics because it deals with the duties of men it is religion because it deals with the caste which is soul of hinduism it is law because it prescribes the penalties for the breach of duties that means that way the the, the kind of uh, uh, the society he try to talk about against this kind of thing also one has to realize the personhood is important person who development of the person is central to him and all when he try to look at the whole indian philosophical system are there it is not individuals neither individual centric is there or not other level it is only class centric and not not only class centric it is also it is referred to the some kind of the the privileged communities privileged kind of the people that may be central to the any kind of the discourse of the justice or you may try to say so many words about the dharma and or many things might be try to talk about that one ambedkar try to try to look at that one it is the way the society is organized social the we need they raw say talk about the society they organize there he identified lot of problems and where you want to give the opportunities and also the kind of inequal not only ambedkar period also try to talk about he try to talk about the category of his rights and proportionate rights and all where the 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 the, 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 the whole economic structure and also the where wealth is accumulated in the few people the power is also accumulated in few sections and against that one there is also these people from the beginning they try to make the sense of the the good society just society and also by making the things much more rational by opposing the obscurities on our social systems customs in the process they try to be critical about the religion and the practices that that way one has to look at this kind of the way um, the way we try to see that one then for me is ambedkar it is uh, that's why ambedkar try to talk about his more concern is that it is not the however loss is very much important policies are very much important we are all suggested that all based on certain kind of the, the understanding of the society but it is the also he is not bothered about the law it is much more than the law it is also there is a public consensus world where the public consensus and also public culture is important such a level social consciousness is important to protect the law the law doesn't have protect the people when talking about the democracy he is also talking about the democratic form of the society democratic form of society means he try talk about it has to be such in everyday social relations and everyday social relation means one has to recognize the fellow human being as a human being and also one has to respect recognize the other fellow as a human being respecting certain kind of values that is also very much important and that way when that that is the ambedkar's notion of the justice is articulated such a way that thing where from the inequality liberty and fraternity these are the values which one you want to give much more meaning in a context where we are living it is not just slogan of the french revolution are taken from the buddhist tradition and you want to give much more meaning to this and all and that's why when you try to talk about the justice justice is not isolated term is one of the virtues somebody try to talk about in western tradition but ambedkar try to see justice is not isolated one is also try to see in relation to the equality in relation to the freedom in relation to the fraternity of course it's fraternity is the word he try to use it for the not only for democracy it is also fraternity associated life and also we do we very often use uses and also it is like to use the justice and all and that's why justice is always evoke ideas of equality of proportion proportion of compensation there he try talk about equity signifies equality rules and regulation rights and righteousness are concerned with equality in value if all men are equal all men are of the same essence and common essence entitles them to the same fundamental rights and equal liberty in much more but before the rules also you can talk about the not just sense of the formal equality he try to talk about equity 
and the capability and where it is required just having everybody have voting rights but we do it very well it is practically that is not the everybody is not a part of decision making the even though we have given the voting right it is a theoretically possible practically and substantial level we can find the problem that's why ambedkar they talk about justice is simply another name for equality liberty and fraternity it is in the sense i shall using the justice as a criterion to judge the the social system where we are living and all and it is also then the, the, then you know it very well that individuals versus fraternity and very try to ambedkar try talk about then ambedkar also leaves from the kind of the liberal theory of the rawls we talking about individualism individualism is not promoting individualism he knows very well individualism promotes the, some kind of anarchy and it is only fraternity which prevents it and helps to sustain the moral order among them and uh, that's why he try to talk about the fraternity is very much important and for the where it is uh, uh, not only fraternity he also try to look at the one way fraternity the preconditions for fraternity seem to be equality and liberty and more than equality and liberty it is also talking about the rationality that's why pragna very taking about that one pragna is not enough and also it is a compassion is important not only compassion it is also one kind of the the mutual the way talking about the mutual cooperation and also understanding it is only possible only through the maitri the unconditional hospitality one has to see whether it is a friend or enemy and all such kind of maitri is also should be there and all this is a condition and context where ambedkar try to talk about the the idea of the justice i i will end my uh, uh, talk just saying that thing today it is the jab and try to talk about the justice justice not only it is uh, the redistribution of the resources along with the resources and in the, the in a distributive the, the very fairness in distribution of the resources uh, in a social arrangement and distribution of the goods and also along with the sun social recognition also important social respect is also important it has to be nurtured and also cultured in a society where public reason plays important role the public reason leads to the public culture thank you all